Hi, so we're in my bedroom. This is not the setup you'll always see, but it is a setup, I guess. I'm hoping to get a tripod and have like two shelves just here and then this one behind me. So hopefully it'll start looking nicer. But I haven't filmed a video in like two weeks. So I thought I'd better do a quick film and film a lot. So two videos coming at you today. First off, you may have noticed this video is a wrap up for January and February. That is because I read like no books in both months. Um, three books each month to be precise. Because <laughs> I've been busy and doing other things and I just haven't been reading. So we're doing a combined wrap up this month. Well, that is what I'm showing you right now. So first off in January, which I read in like the first five days of January, I read The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first Mistborn novel. It's been so long since I read it, so I can't. Like, this is going to be the worst wrap-up ever, but this is a high fantasy novel following the concept of if um, the bad guy won, like the major bad guy, what would their society be like? Um, and oh man, it's amazing. Though I don't know where the series is going to go from here, because it rounded off really nicely. Um, so I'm excited to pick up the next ones to figure out where this is going. I gave this five stars. Then I read Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith. I don't have a copy with me. It's at my parents' house because it is my dad's copy. This is J.K. Rowling's third crime novel. Oh, it is amazing. Insane. Like, plot through the roof insane. Like, just went crazy. Um, twists, turns, didn't know what was happening. It was great. Character development, A++, so good. I think I did do a review. I feel like I've talked about it. So there's probably a review which I will remember to link down below if I'll try to remember. Otherwise, go check my channel. There's a review, I believe. And, oh man, amazing. Five stars. I just burped. <laughs> then I read Herb of Grace by Kate Forsyth. This is the third Chain of Charms novel. These are middle grade. Fantasy, historical fantasy set in Cromwell's reign in England following a group of gypsies. Third book, really good, solid. I enjoyed these. They're just great, fun. I like them. They're on my um, big uh, finish that series challenge, I believe. Am I, am I saying the right things? Um, yeah. So this was on my finish that series challenge, which I have now done the first one of. Um, and at this reading rate, oh, I don't know if I'm going to finish any of my challenges, but we'll get there, I guess. We will get there. I'm judging myself so hard right now. Anyway, I think I gave this four stars. I can't remember. It's been so long. Then in February, that was, they were my three books from January. Pretty pitiful, I know. And then in February, we started the month reading You by Caroline Ketnes. This took me so long. I was hoping to read the sequel as well, but it just drained me and I couldn't. This is a thriller following second perspective. Um, like, he is first person talking, like, at someone, so, like, you. Um, good. I really enjoyed it. It was intense and insane. And I weirdly shipped, like, it's a thriller. I shipped the stalker with the stalky at brief periods of time, like it gave me weird emotions, it was strange, I don't know if I like that at all, and it freaked me out, man, but I guess it's a thriller, that's what it's supposed to do, but it was good, it was very good, I think I gave it four and a half stars, enjoyable, but definitely is drained for me, like, it took me ages to read it, and I just could not, con like, conceive of starting the second one straight away, I didn't know, like, I struggled to even pick up the next book. But what I did read next was Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, which I read on my Kindle. And this is a young adult contemporary following a girl with um, skin, the sensory combined immunodeficiency, no, severe combined immunodeficiency, the boy in the plastic bubble disease. Um, oh man, this book was amazing. Same plot, gorgeous characters, 
I just, I don't even know. But Diversity, it was a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, I don't know how much else to say anything about it without spoiling and everything. But I don't normally, I'm not a contemporary lover. I just can't, like, I only like get things every now and again. But that one was good. So I definitely recommend it and you should go read it. And finally, in the first two months of this year, I read The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Also on my Kindle, this is a historical fiction adult World War II novel. Yes, World War II, set in France, following two sisters and their lives intertwining, I guess. Um, lyrical, huge, gorgeous, character-driven, I don't know how to describe anything more about this but it's absolutely stunning I love historical fiction everyone knows that that's my jam if you if you show me a cover that looks clearly historical fiction I will eat that I'll gobble that right up it's gorgeous um and this did not disappoint definitely go try out this book it is stunning you will love it the nightingale by Kristen Hanna so those were the books I read in the first two months of the year. Um, pitiful, terrible, I know. I'm hoping to get my reading roll back up and running. But we're going to have to see what happens. Um, I will see you real soon with another video. Probably a haul. Well, it's definitely a haul. I've got all the books piled around me to haul. But I will see you then. And it will be soon. And hopefully I'll be getting much more regular with my film schedule. And I'll hopefully get a tripod and all those wonderful good things. So I will see you soon with another video. Bye!